Hey guys, what is up? It is late at night. I am wearing this pastel Nightmare Before Christmas shirt that I think I hauled in the past. Um, and some earrings, of course, you know, I love my earrings. But I wanted to do this because I wanted to do kind of like a little series other than like, I know hauling is fun and people love watching hauls. I love watching hauls. But let's be truthful. Sometimes you can get a little burnt out doing the same thing over and over again. And sometimes, yes, it's true. I get sick of watching hauls and I get sick of hauling stuff myself. I shop a lot. I love shopping. But a lot of the times I buy stuff and I never even show you guys because I'm just like over the whole, look what I got. And mostly the reason why I do these videos is to show you what's out and about so that you can go find it. You can go find it and or you can make up your mind whether to waste your money on what I bought or not to waste your money. Because let's face it, sometimes I get winner winner chicken dinner and sometimes I get a craptastic thing of weirdness like one of the dolls that I hauled that was black. So you can actually watch a haul video and decide for yourself, do I really want to purchase it? Is it worth it? I give you some tips and tricks on how I save money and I just show you stuff because I don't always get to go out and about into the stores and sometimes I like watching hauls because I'll be like, oh, hey, I didn't know Home Goods had that kind of stuff. Let me go check it out and see what's what. So I love watching hauls. They're really fun to get out, you know, to go virtually shopping and to try new stores and to see what other states are doing. Other states have different stores than we do. We have 99 cent stores, other states don't. Where am I going with this? I just kind of jumped in all at once. I'm gonna be doing a dolly um, outfit of the day. Actually, what I brought with me to my sister's house. The doll of the week that is staying with me is Corinne. So let's show you off my darling. This is Corinne. She is the doll of the year and also the doll of the week for me. Her hair needs to be brushed. Um, I don't think I brought any headbands or anything for her, but. If I happen to go to the store, I can pick something up for her, but I, I forgot to bring any hair stuff for her, like a headband. I do have her brush. Her hair actually does really need to be brushed badly. She was in the carrying case. I'll do a little um, conditioning treatment on it. I haven't pierced her ears yet. I'll do that at a later time. Um, I will pierce her ears myself. It's easier and it saves me $16. So there is that. I love her sweater and I love her leggings and her little boots, but she's got to get changed into her pajamas. So, oh, I don't know what you're seeing there, but let's show you what I have in here. This of course is the American Girl carrying case. Everything is jumbled and fumbled around. I'm just gonna stick it here, open it up and show you what is what. So for this week, I decided that yes, she's supposed to be like a little snow bunny, but I live in California, so Corinne is gonna be living in my climate and in my world, so she's not necessarily gonna be all winterfied. I did pack a few things that are a little bit more wintry, but you know, I live in California, so I make the doll my own. So I got ready for bed PJs. I thought these were super cute. These are brand new, I got these a while back, and I just love having, now she might not wear all of this stuff, but I like having options. A long time ago, I hauled this and I think it's super cute. It's a little onesie. It's like, it's kind of like, you know, just like a little sleep suit. So I love that. I thought that was so cute. And it has cactuses and hearts all over it. So I packed that. Cause last time I didn't pack enough pajamas. I ended up getting sick for two weeks and just having um, Julietta, you saw her lounging about in PJs and I wish I, I wish I would have brought more PJs because mostly isn't this cute this is an our generation and I think I paid two dollars for it one day I went to Target and all of the our generation clothes were on sale and I do have a haul somewhere on my channel of it but I got a whole bunch of our generation clothes for two dollars and some change and it was the best deal I ever got in my entire life. It was amazing. If I could remember to link that video, I will, but it was an awesome, my bra strap is falling, amazing haul of clothes from our generation that I got for so, so cheap. I couldn't believe it, $2 for our generation stuff, and it was, it was amazing. 
So I packed outfits. So a little skirt, a little skater skirt. Thought that was really cute. I'm not going to show you what, I'm just going to show you the clothes. I'm not going to show you how I style them. A little happy shirt. A rainbow skirt that I got off of Etsy, which is so, so cute. I absolutely love this. And it velcros on. None of my clothes are American Girl. I am too cheap to buy American Girl clothes. And I know you can find them thrifting, but again, I don't have the time to go thrifting. And um, this really cute little skirt, I love this so much. And I'm thinking it can actually go with her leggings. So I like that. Then I have this little combo. This is our generation. This is Illy. I do believe this is an Illy fashion. Um, yeah, it is. It's from the Disney Illy girls. I sold one of the girls' skirts, and it's got some string right here that needs to be cut. Oh, I just took it out like that. So that's really cute. I love that. And then I have a white t-shirt that's going to go underneath this. So it's going to look really, really cute. I also have my, this is the only thing that I have. It's a Sweet Street. It's actually American Girl. I loved it so much because it looks like a little skater shirt from the 90s. I have very, very few clothes from American Girl. I have her conditioner bottle because she's got to have her hair brushed. I have her little hat. I have a couple hats in here. I took her hat off because it got kind of smooshed when I put her in the carrying case. So I have this hat. And I have this hat, which I think is going to be so cute. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I hope it fits her. I don't know if it's going to fit her. Um, I have these shoes. These are American Girl shoes. I like to collect American Girl shoes. And I think these are, these are from somebody's line, but I stole them. I have some American Girl. I love American Girl shoes. I try to buy all their shoes. Um, this one is little fake Doc Martens. These are super cute. I love these. And then I have some, this is Sophia's shoes right here. These are so good. The bottoms are amazing. I love the bottoms of these. I need to go and buy some more. I have her brush. I brought the American Girl brush, even though I don't think this brush is that good, but she's got straight hair, so I can brush this. I can brush my dolls with straight hair easier, so I thought, why not? Little slippers, super cute. I did not have time to put this away properly. This is her watch, or a watch. I had to put these in a better place. So these are gonna get ruined. Bracelets, I made this. I actually rebeaded this. This was a bigger bracelet and I just rebeaded it. Of course, I love this one. This is, um, love my dolly and it's just one that i made so it's hard to see on camera but it's just a bracelet this is another one that i made so there's some bracelets for her there is a necklace for her to go with one of the blue outfits i thought i packed another one i guess i didn't but then just this little choker so i thought that was really cute like i said those are gonna get lost if i don't put those away the right way I got some little sleep socks. I thought those were really cute. I love these. These are our generation, I think. I don't know what these are. I have no idea what these are. I don't even know if they're gonna fit. I didn't try them on her foot. Hopefully they will. I got some socks for the boots. I got a little pair of dolly undies because of course a girl needs undergarments. And I got some tights. So you can kind of see where I'm going with these outfits. And so I'm going to dress her in her PJs and I will, let's see, I don't know which one I'm going to dress her in. Hmm. I'll surprise you. I'll surprise you. But let me get her dressed and I will be right back and show you what she looks like in her PJs. I love dressing up my dolls. It is so fun and it's like therapeutic. I don't know why. It just is. It's like a creative process. Or like you're being a little bit creative and you're just you know playing playing with your doll so i will be right back and show you what i put her in i just love her hair so i brushed her hair i used a little bit of that um conditioner that i have mixed with water a little bit messed up right here but 
kind of fix that. Always brush the hair right here because you don't ever want to brush it right here. Just want to just kind of make it look nice. So her hair is gorgeous and here she is in her PJs. Isn't she adorable? And then she has her little bow slippers on. The, these were so hard to get on. Not all of our generation stuff fits them perfectly perfect, but for the most part it does. But isn't she cute in her little jammy set? I just love her little cacti sleeper. So I think she's super cute. I love her so much. And I decided to go with this one rather than the other two choices that I had because I just think it complements her hair. And yeah. So there she is all dolled up. <laughs> and tomorrow I'll put her in a fancy little outfit and take some pictures with her. What I really want to do is I really want, I really, I really, really, I really want to take her out. I have never taken my girls out in public. I did it once, but I really want to take her out to the little eatery that I go to, the little produce market that I go to where the boys, um, I said almost, I almost said where the boys live, where the boys school is. I kind of really want to take her out and do some outdoor photographs. I have the time. If I left early enough, I could do it. It's just that there's always a lot of people there. And I don't, I don't really <laughs> feel comfortable taking my doll out because I think people are going to like stare at me. I have no problem filming in public, but I do have a little bit of a problem taking photographs of my doll in public. And I haven't done it. I've never done it. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but I'm just not sure yet. I really, really want to take her and do a little photo shoot of the place that I always eat at because it's really pretty and it's really picturesque and it's just something that would be so fun because it's very rural. It's very rural around here. There's a lot of farmland. There's a lot of... um very cute little places that I could take her to get photographs. There's like little lemon, like a little lemon orchard. It's not really an orchard, but there's a whole bunch of lemon trees everywhere. There's orange groves. I mean, there's some places where I could take her. So I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that because I kind of, yeah, well, yeah, I am shy. People, I don't know. I don't know how people feel about doll collectors. I don't know. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. But I love her. I think she looks amazing. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon. I am so happy for the new subscribers that I have procured. I don't know how. I don't know why. It is amazing. And I am very blessed to be doing this as a fun hobby. This is a hobby and I love it. I talk about everything from coloring to collages to... Um, bargain shopping, ways to save at Hot Topic, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. So I just wanted to do something a little different, something a little um, out of the normal repertoire that I do. I try to do vlogs. I try to do store. I Doing store vlogs is harder because I, it's not, I'm on a time crunch. So that's always kind of hard. But I want to start doing a little bit more than hauls because I know that might get boring for you and that gets boring for me so we'll try but uh, I do have a whole bunch of hauls to show you guys though and they're I pre-record so everything you see is either a week or two either one to two weeks later than what I'm actually you know doing so I film all the time but I don't always get the videos up so I have a lot of content to bring to you and uh, with that being said I will see you guys in the next one bye